what happened to me is I went to GP for we change, uh, I went to GP for a different reason. And there was a new GP because my original GP was sick. And he took all the history, took my history of a family history. And in my family history, there is three generation cancer. So he said, Rosaria, we want to get you checked up. And from that day, every time, every two years, I used to get checked up. In 05, he said, Rosaria, time to go for another checkup. No problem. I went for the checkup in November. And six weeks later, they called me. I was in work, they called me. I went in and I said, I'm afraid you have the worst, you have cancer. You're staying in today. And I came to, to Professor John Reynolds. And one in a million, both the Professor Reynolds and all his crew, they couldn't give enough attention. The, the care they gave, the total care they gave it to the patients, it's unbelievable. Professor Reynolds came and told me I was in for a week. He done all his tests again. He was in and he came over and he said to me, Rosaria, you have three options. You have a chemo, radium, or operation. I immediately thought he knew better. I said, Professor, you, dear, you the professor, you tell me what would be the best for me. And he said, up, never was a date, a second operation. And at that, that was it. It was 67 days in St. James's. And every day of my family, I had the two visitors, night and day. They, they were taking the turns all the time. When I heard I was sick, I didn't think I was going to die. I thought, this is going to be tough, but I'm going to do it. I used to lie in bed in St. James Hospital, and I used to say to myself, you so and so, you're not going to get the better of me. I'm going to win. If you put in your mind, I think, that you say you're going to fight it, you'll fight any, any sickness. That's my belief. Life, in general, I think, is a battle anyway. Because regardless of what you do, different people have different, but that sickness is, but the only thing is, you're not going to let it bet you. That's my, that's my belief of it. And thank God that I, for, for, and thank all the people that look, look after me. It's very important that people with a family history or non-family history, they should get checked, regardless if they have no symptoms, because I had no symptoms. And only for my GP sent me through my family history, sent me for test, I wouldn't have known. Because when I, told her, when I was told I had the cancer, I had no symptoms of any kind. At the end of February, they have a lollipop day, as they call it, for the esophageal cancer research. And I do think it's very important because they do great work for, for the esophageal cancer, because like me, I wasn't aware of the esophageal cancer. I didn't know what esophageal cancer was, which is good to make people aware of what it is and to, and to support it, because they do marvelous work.